minutes past eight. Good morning. Now, as you've been hearing in the news with Rose this morning, BBC Radio Kent has discovered a 40% rise in allegations of neglect and abuse towards vulnerable adults here in the county. That's in just a year. Nearly 5,800 reports were made to uh, Kent County Council last year. So let's find out more about this. We can speak to Eileen Sharp from Orpington, a former care worker turned whistleblower, and Jane Connery campaigning for CCTV in care homes. Eileen, we'll, we'll start with you. What caused you to turn the whistle, to, to blow the whistle? Um, I saw widespread abuse um, happening. Unbeknown to me, six other care workers were also seeing this and reporting it internally, constantly. Um, when it became clear that nothing was going to be done, we went to social services because we had no um, other option. And then what happened? Did it, there was a full investigation. We were very lucky with the regulator at the time, um, and it was all upheld, but we all lost our jobs by that point anyway. We were driven out of our workplace. Mm, and and you're not the only one in conditions. Um, Compassion and Care, the charity, um, up to 7,000 whistleblowers have contacted us. We've published evidence on our website. I, I urge people to read Breaking the Silence, which is on our website, um, which was the evidence from the first 1,500 whistleblowers who contacted us. And it's showing what happens it's to people. Morning, we are saying reports are up and up. And, and, and Jane, tell us about what happened with, with you and your mum, because you were unhappy about the care she was receiving, weren't you? Yeah, five years ago, my mum was in a care home, and um, five years later, um, you know, we're still talking about our, our vulnerable people in care homes still being abused. When are we going to stop talking about it? What, what, what happened to your mum? going to have action. No, you see, this is going on far too long now. You say Kent County Council, they're now saying that the, the, the rise in, in failings, that's only because people are coming to them. Um, this has been going on for years. Our elderly, our, not just elderly, our vulnerable in care homes are being neglected. And Jane, you think, you think CCTV homes. would help? Why? Well, of course it will help. It would kick up. It would help prevent, prevent or neglect. Abuse does happen. I'm not saying abuse does not happen in care homes, but preventable neglect, huge problem, and this communal areas, falls, people not being attended to, this is what in 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 uh, CCK campaign for the vulnerable, this is what really, images are absolutely heartbreaking of our elderly not being attended to because staff are under, that they're, 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 they're understaffed and understood. I mean, do you agree? Do you think CCTV is the answer? Uh, firstly, um, uh, neglect is abuse, firstly. Um, it depends where the responsibility for that neglect lies, whether it's the staff on the front line or whether it's the owner of the company who sets those staffing ratios. So and, and all neglect is abuse, firstly. CCTV... We are very in favour of covert cameras because families have control of those cameras. CCTV companies will not monitor and CCTV will end up... I've seen people abuse people in every way possible. And believe me, CCTV will end up protecting more abusers than exposing them because there's a thousand ways to abuse people and there's actual evidence um, being conducted... With Eileen Chubb, I, I so agree with Eileen Chubb in, in, in how she. Quite frankly, I think that's a dangerous statement, and Why? that is, people are being neglected in our care homes. I can assure you that I, my mother was abused in three care homes. I speak to hundreds of families every day. Um, we have met, we help many families to use their own cameras and, and we have our campaign for Edna's Law. However, CCTV will not protect people. I picked up my mother, an elderly eight-year-old woman, very, very ill. She was evicted because trust broke down. We have to now say, let's open this up. Let's work with care providers, because believe you me, the, 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 um, the people that are in charge of these care homes aren't always in these care homes. It's managers, managers who are overworked, under pressure. We have now got to stop pointing blame. And we have got Actually, the managers are under pressure because of the owners of the companies. Oh, I, I, Eileen, 
floor now. What do you think? Yeah, I'm sorry, but managers are under pressure because of the owners of the company. The culture in care homes comes from the top down, and we need to start holding people to account properly under criminal law in a criminal court with Edna's law. And, and we need to give those people who are the eyewitnesses to abuse to be able to report that abuse and to get those people prosecuted in a proper court. Not safeguarding, but in a criminal court. Eileen, the abuse has happened. We've got to prevent the abuse. Because while you're worrying, while you're dealing, and I respect what you do, but it's too late. Preventing abuse. You see CCTV, you get a performance, you don't get the reality. So you've got a bad care worker putting on a performance for a camera, but down the corridor where there's no camera, that care worker will abuse. Okay, my mother was abused. No, I absolutely will not hear this. You are damaging the, the, the protection of our... Well, I'm sorry, you feel... I have to go by the evidence, and the evidence tells us that CCTV won't work. Can you please, everybody, support CCTV in care and let protect our vulnerable who are suffering right now in care homes. Thank you, Jane. And last word from you, Eileen, then. Um, our evidence, look at the San Francisco survey, look at the evidence on CCTV. It moves the crime and the abuse into the darkest corners. The reality is we need accountability, and that is Edna's law. OK, well, where do you stand on this, then? We've heard from Eileen, uh, from a former care worker turned whistleblower from all we've heard from Jane Connery campaigning, as you heard there, for CCTV in care homes. What do you think is the solution? We need to stop the abuse. That much they agree on, but they don't agree in the way with which we do it. Jane says it's got to be CCTV. Eileen said, actually, no, we need different sorts of covert cameras in care homes. What is the answer?